What's up guys, Two Snake here coming at you with a Space Engineers modding video. Today I want to show something I've been playing around with. I've been messing around with the save files and managed to get asteroid belts appearing around planets. I'm not sure if someone has already done this before and if they have then please let me know in the comments. Before making this video I looked around to make sure I wasn't doing something that everyone already knew about and I didn't find anything. As you can see this is really cool and makes the game look more interesting when you're on planets flying around and doing whatever else you're doing in Space Engineers. I wanted to show you all how to do this and how you can make your own asteroid belts as well. So, first thing you're going to want to do is to create a new custom world and for this I'm going to choose an empty world as it makes it a little bit easier to edit the save files. For this to work you're going to need to enable spectator mode in the advanced settings so go in there and enable that. Now you should be in a fresh empty world by now we're going to open the spawn menu and to do that you're going to press Ctrl and F10 on your keyboard. Change the first select box to procedural asteroids and just start spawning in asteroids. If you don't like the look of an asteroid then don't place it down. Just press the escape key and you can go back to the spawn menu until you find something you like. A little tip for you guys, try to get them all to blend in well together. You don't want to have uh, any of the asteroids standing out as we'll be reusing the same asteroids over and over again to make the field. I really don't like the procedure asteroids in the game. I really wish the devs would make them a little bit more natural looking rather than the donut looking shapes you can sometimes get. And uh, it just makes them all stand out and it doesn't look good when there's a whole bunch of them in a the field. Right, so as you can see I've placed a whole bunch of asteroids and now we're going to go back to the spawn menu one last time and make a planet for our belt. We've got our planet now and what we need to do is to find the center of it. Now when I tried to use the position coordinates in the save file it wasn't working for me so what I found the best solution is just to go into spectator view and fly inside the planet. So go into spectator mode, fly right through the surface so when you're really good in there press the control and space keys both at the same time. Doing this will teleport your player to where you're looking. Because you're under the surface you'll start to fall to the center of the planet. This is what we're trying to do. We want our player dead center in the planet so we can get some good GPS coordinates that we can then copy and paste out of our save file. Right now you'll see in the right of the screen that the gravity is going down. Once it hits zero or close to it I'm going to turn the jetpack back on and complete the stop at that position. Okay that's good enough. So you're going to want to log the GPS coordinates. Let's do that now. There we go. And I'm going to go now back into spectator mode and fly back out of the planet. So now comes the most complicated part. You're going to need to open the Space Engineer safe game that we just created and edit some text files in there. This is a hidden folder on your Windows computer so you're only going to be able to see it if you enable show hidden files first. Once you're in the folder for your save game the first thing you're going to notice is that there's a bunch of files in here for your asteroids. This is going to be important in a minute so the first thing you should do is open both the sandbox SBS and SBC files in a text editor. These files have all the information about your save game and we can edit all sorts of stuff in here. Go to Sandbox SBC file and you want to search for GPS. You should be able to see the GPS marker like we made. Copy and paste the XYZ coordinates from that file and paste them into the JS Fiddle website that has a script we're going to be able to generate our asteroids from. You can find the link to this script in the video's description. So first off take our XYZ coordinates and replace the default values in the script. After we've done that, we can then edit the radius variable. This determines how far from the center our planet and asteroids will spawn from. Be careful not to make it too close or you're going to have asteroids spawning in the planets. You won't ever see them. The next variable we have here determines how many asteroids are going to be spawned from the circumference of the planet. I haven't seen any slowdowns apart from a few drop frames when first loading up the world. 
I'm using an Nvidia 970 for reference, so please comment back and let me know if you guys have any problems on older cards. Okay guys, now this part's important. You're going to want to get rid of all the default values I've been putting in here and replace them with the file name of your own asteroid files. If you don't do this, you're not going to see anything because my asteroids aren't in your save game. So copy them one by one and paste in the file names into the array, just like I'm doing here. Don't put the extension on. After you've got all that sorted, you can now click the run button and it'll generate a whole bunch of XML data for you. After it appears, select and copy it, then put it in your sandbox SBS file and simply paste it into the bottom of the file just before the sector objects tag closes. Save the file and that's it. When you load up your save game you should now see the asteroids. Let's give it a test. Where are they? Why can't I see them? <laughs> okay guys, I forgot to mention one thing. You're probably going to want to change the default view distance to something higher than 15 kilometers. If you don't do this, you're probably going to have a hard time spotting where the asteroids are. Okay, that's done. Let's load up the save file again. Come on, where are they? Are they too far out? Ah, okay, there they are. I think we set the radius a bit too far out for this planet. That being said, it looks really cool having it this quite far out. It looks kind of natural looking. I'm kind of pleased with this effect. Okay, let's try something closer. I want to see something looping around the planet. Let's quit the save, undo these asteroids that I pasted in earlier and go back to our web browser and edit the radius value so that everything spawns a little bit closer to the planet. Select all and copy that into our save file again. Same as last time, now let's load up the file. Awesome, look at that. Oh, bit of stutter there. You can do all sorts of crazy things with this. So I hope that by sharing this, we're gonna see all sorts of unique belts in the scenarios and multiplayer. I'm excited to see what you guys are gonna do with this. This code I've shared is just for prototyping. I'm sure there are others out there who could do it way better than this. So please go and share what you've done with it. The whole purpose of making this video was to inspire you guys and make some more interesting content for the game. Personally, I find the game kind of boring at the moment. It's too bare bones for me and I think the community are really doing a good job in trying to make the game better and interesting. I just hope the developers kind of look at what they're doing and kind of include some of it in the default game so that when new people pick it up, that it's just more interesting to play. Okay, let's try something crazy and kick it to 11. Double the number of asteroids, make the distance closer. Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. This is so cool. I'm not having any problems with the frames here. Like, even though there's a lot of asteroids, it seems to be okay. Uh, computer seems to be getting a bit too hot though. Let's go check out the view of the planet surface. Whoops. Oh man. I haven't really played around with this so much. For me, I'm still just enjoying looking at the different scenes you can make with this technique. 
It really makes being on planets more interesting to look at, in my opinion. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I'm sure I'm not the first person to do something like this. However, I hope you guys found it interesting to watch and will make use of this technique to make some cool planets. Okay, see you all next time.